Time for Layla Central's monthly update on the layout. Hey guys, welcome back to Layla Central, and this is a layout update uh, for July. Now, first of all, I'd like to welcome a heap of our new subscribers that have joined us, and of course, if you're watching this for the first time, don't forget to hit that like and subs subscribe button. Now, with this layout update, um, I mean, things are tracking okay, but unfortunately, I am dragging my heels a little bit. I um, have had a few things uh, occur at the moment, and uh, while I am on uh, annual leave and trying to catch up on some of the uh, layout work, uh, life has obviously gotten in uh, the way of some of that. But anyway, we can go through and see what has been covered. So one of the uh, biggest things I think first to mention is uh, if we have a look at August right over here, one of the parts I've got here is finish laying all the track work. Now, what I have done this month is I have added all of my track work and we'll go through that right now. So previously on the lab, um, so this is the area of Shilton, last monthly update, all I really had was essentially uh, these two main lines here uh, working. Didn't have any sidings in, didn't have the, uh, the express uh, down or the, um, uh, the down goods line, uh, slow goods line working. I have put all that track work in and as you can see right now, testing it all at the moment so now we've got our three main lines going um obviously one of them is a slow freight and that one's a slow freight run around so i've got the sidings in as well uh, i've done some testing on those they're all working quite well and um yeah look very happy with it so far and as you can imagine doing a lot of testing on all the point work and all the track one of the other things i've also done is this area right here now i'll change the view a little bit just so it's a bit easier for you guys to uh, see so probably more from this sort of angle here in the past as you can probably see from uh, my um, uh, The track underlay sitting around these areas here. It has I've moved my track over slightly So when I was taking a good look at the videos of the trains running they'll sweep around They come here and then they'll bank around through here And this is for each line obviously now one of the things I found was the bend in this area here of each line as soon as it went went over to this end here I felt it was a little bit too sharp um, and it certainly could have been smoothed out a lot lot more so as you can see what I've done is I've lifted the track in some parts I've moved it over it's still sitting quite uh, adequately on the underlay there no problems but the trains themselves as you see as they go around here are actually um, you know a bit more gentler as they go through so big change there So here we are now over uh, what will be Brinklow now. A again, same thing, obviously uh, the main line over here is actually going, so this is the express down. I've added all my track work and points here uh, for the actual goods area, which will move a bit more closer so you can be get a better look. Okay, so there we are. So this is uh, essentially all the, the track work around where Brinklow goods, uh, the goods yard will actually be. Now I'll just wait for this uh, train to go past because it's blocking our view at the moment. But um, all this area here, so this is where the actual goods shed will be located. We've got our double slips sitting over here. Got my turnout uh, going to essentially a small siding. All this is in. It's all powered up. It is actually running uh, without any issues. Now, just uh, obviously one of the things that you may or may not remember is um, I've tried my best to model Brinklow at two scale as possible now. I've been able to get the station, what will be over here. Um, I've got that in, I will have that all to scale. When it comes to the goods yard, so including the whole length from here all the way down over to here, it's not to scale unfortunately. If anything, this should be moved a bit more further down. Um, now if I did do a to scale, the goods yard and everything else would be situated way back over here. Uh, now I could have put it in, uh, modeled at true scale. The only thing would be then is these curves around here would have been probably third radius Which I didn't want I wanted a bit more smoother curves So as a bit of a compromise all the goods area that that would have been here if model two scale It's been shifted way back over to here um, 
to get it in. But as mentioned though, the station or the platforms will be still to scale. Now as we continue around the layout, so here's the, uh, the express uh, down line here as you'll notice what I've actually done. Now initially these, uh, the track underlay and the track was all completely aligned and parallel with these other two tracks right here. But with this uh, large overhead bridge that I wanted to actually put in, I wanted to, it obviously had to deviate a little bit so it could actually fit. So obviously this has now been, I lifted it up, adjusted the bend and put it through here. Now this bridge will not stay uh, this height that you see right now. I mean as awesome as it is, it's way too high, it's too epic. Um, and what I want to do is I need to probably cut it off maybe around about this sort of height, so probably about like that. Um, keep the top half obviously, um, and then position it down so they're going to sit a lot more lower and at least I can make the scenery a little bit more better. Okay, now we're on to the other side of essentially the layer and that bridge in D. So the, uh, the main line shoots right through, lower lines up, here's the uh, the small junction right here or the turnout for the branch line of the cement plant. Now that bridge I've just sat there for the moment. Um, so what my idea is, I'm going to have a, a bit of a back scene that will come across here, um, divide the fiddle yard away from the layout itself, put a nice big back scene across over there. Um, sorry, I'm trying to adjust it with this light here, the sun's coming out. <laughs> um, so adjust it. Um, make the back scene go right across the back here, curl around and essentially cut it off around here somewhere. Um, so obviously um, we'll have a, a start and finish area. Now, so I've been doing some testing with the fiddle yard itself um, and it is working okay. However, some areas I want to adjust um, and I'll discuss that with you very shortly. So the first point uh, of uh, item that I've actually discovered um, as I've tested the uh, fiddle yard, especially now that I've added in this sl uh, this express downline. Now, the geometry around this area here, so you've got it going from here, goes around into a bend, then starts splitting up to the turnouts here themselves. Now, this turnout here, so this one right here, I'm actually having a, a couple of issues with it now. What I mean by that is as the trains come through, they're leaning into it, so they're obviously the, the main driving wheels, etc., all pressing onto this rail more. When this is actually switched to the other direction, they are connecting with the end here, and in some cases, derailing. Now, going in this direction, like this train is actually going, not an issue at all. Um, it's if it is reversing or going in the other direction, the, essentially the, the bogies are mounting this rail, and then they're derailing in this area here. So. Looking at obviously this turn right here, uh, or the bend in the actual rail, plus the turnouts, I've made a decision on going to order some curved turnouts and place them in here so it's a bit more gentle on the train as it goes through and hopefully minimises any derails. All the other items on this side here are all perfectly fine. Uh, the track works great, no problems. Um, but the other side, I've got some other similar issues. Okay, so here we are now at the other end of the uh, fiddle yard itself. So there's uh, Shelton, and of course there'll be a bridge going across here to deviate or separate the fiddle yard from the scenic area of the land itself. Now, this uh, this over here is essentially the main express down. This is the slow goods down. The main express, no problems at all. She goes off, no worries whatsoever. This one here still works perfectly fine. I've tested a lot of trains um, and there's no derails or whatever. However, the radius is a little sharp. Um, in some cases, it's to me, I, I need to be a bit more gentle with it. So a few things that I've identified, as you can possibly see in this area right here, I've got some good space. So um, what I'm going to do is get some more curved turnouts, position, you know, position them in such a way strategically so one will go about there another one about here somewhere and try and essentially use more of this real estate that we've got here so particularly around here even where i'm not able to get the, the train to come out here and extend some of these sidings a little bit um so i mean that like i mentioned nothing derails in this area it does work perfectly fine um however i think i can adjust it a little bit more and i need the use of some curved turnouts and uh, essentially the fiddle yard I've just done with what turnouts I've had available uh, in my possession um, and it's working quite well but I do need to buy about three um, if not a couple more than three and um, adjust this 
ever so slightly in this area here so we'll stay tuned and see how that goes okay so going off that um, I've essentially put the track as 99% done now the reason I'm saying 99 uh, is uh, obviously just those a couple of adjustments in the photo yard the other thing is also I still haven't laid the track in the cement plant for the um, the locomotive shed or depot if you want to call it that um, so we'll get onto that shortly so um, the other thing at the moment is painting the cement plant uh, finish painting that all together um, that's still in progress and that's where I'm dragging my feet at the moment it is uh, underway at the moment but um, yeah I mean it should have been done by this month uh, if I followed my schedule but uh, as a result I'm dragging my feet there the other thing is also in July I've got a note here in regards to painting uh, cement plant details now those cement plant details haven't arrived yet um, so as a result that's not that hasn't happened um, I've got a few things on order which I'll um, cover off in my monthly mailbox uh, video hopefully next um, but um, you're still waiting on those uh, now the other part obviously in July as I've got noted here we've got uh, adding track point writing um, as well as track painting now I'm in the progress of doing track uh, doing my point writing and as a result I haven't started any of the track painting so dragging my feet there as well and uh, starting scenic foundations have not even started um, so that's completely out uh, but anyway, let's go over to the cement plant and uh, we'll take a look at where things are at uh, in that regards. Okay, so here we are now over at the cement plant and uh, here's the uh, point rotting that I've started to put in. And uh, one thing I have noticed is because I'm using track underlay, it's lifted the track up. So as a result, putting all this stuff in, it's all at adjusted height. So I've had to m adjust a lot of things. I've had to cut and just muck around with these pieces and... Uh, this, uh, for those that aren't aware, this is the Wills um, point rotting uh, kits as well as their levers right here. And, um, you know, they look quite good once they're in, but uh, oh so fiddly. And um, I would not have been able to do it without my friends these tweezers right here. Um, working quite good. Now, I'm still yet to add some more point rotting. Obviously, this is where it's just started. I've still got uh, areas over here, so I've got three more to add some point rotting. Obviously here, here, and just over here. Now these three turnouts are going to link up maybe about here somewhere or over here with these levers as normal, so probably something like that. And uh, put them in, and uh, once that's done, then I'll actually start doing the track painting in this area. When it comes to the turnouts over here, so as you can see, we've got uh, these two turnouts over here plus a third one way over here. Probably going to put in an old signal box about here somewhere, or even over to here, um, where they're all those three will actually link up to the one signal box, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Still fiddling and uh, yeah, wondering about what I'm going to do there. But um, I would say though, these uh, few turnouts right here, they will be controlled separately um, because my plan is to have a road going across here, um, and uh, having a signal box right here, looking after all that, uh, to me sounds uh, sounds proper. Okay, now onto the cement plant uh, buildings themselves. So my target was to have things painted. Now, I've been working at the moment on uh, essentially the warehouse right here and this other building at the moment. So I've got, as you can see, got my foundation colours in. Uh, this has been given a very light grey undercoat. Started the work on the roof up here as well. Um, very time consuming, of course. Um, you know, it's not just a case of two layers of paint and then bang, we're done. Um, got a few steps involved in just getting it even just to this. Um, so eventually these two buildings, the, the roofs, will be the same as the roof that I've done over here. Um, the walls and everything around here will be the same as this one here. And as for the walls around here, I'm going to do something different, but uh, not entirely sure. There is a bit of a, a very faint texture that's on them. Um, you know, it's hard to say if it's A, concrete, or if it's B, timber. Um, it's very, very faint. Um, and if it's timber, it could have done with a lot more detail, but... Um, we're not too sure, but ideally all of this should have been painted and done, uh, but as you can see, not as yet. Um, and that's mainly because life has uh, been occurring. Um, obviously I've taken time out to do some other work, such as laying more track work. Um, but hey, you know what, it's a hobby, and uh, we get to it when we actually can. Now another thing worth mentioning, and another reason why I've uh, not gotten a lot done, is I've done a bit of a clean-up in the shed here. Now, it may not look tidy at the moment, and that's because it's not. But I have gotten rid of a lot of spare timber that I did not need. Now, a lot of that timber 
was essentially from the bench work. So essentially the floors and area here, I had timber uh, bits everywhere. I've cleaned those out, they're gone. Uh, some of my older videos as well, I had a pile of rubbish and stuff being built up down over here. So for example, that's now gone. These couple of sticks of timber here are perfectly good and unused, I'll be uh, using those elsewhere. But um, you know, I've moved a lot of rubbish, I've moved a lot of debris um, just out of here. So one, it's a bit more safer and I'm tidying up as well. So that's a gradual thing, but uh, I've got a big skip in, got rid of not just a lot of stuff out of the layout, but a lot of stuff uh, in the shed here as well as at home and uh, cleared it up. Now one of the other things that's occurred is I've managed to snap up this little trolley here. Now you might be wondering why on earth am I showing you this? Now this trolley um, comes from uh, a local shop. My daughter was using it however she was going to throw it out but I swooped on it. It's on wheels and this uh, you know these little trays in here are perfect as you can see on top here to uh, have my scenic items in. So this will be my scenic trolley uh, in the future as I build up and get some bits and pieces and supplies. Um, this will, um, yeah, certainly get um, a lot of use and being on wheels, it'll be carted around easily uh, to do its job. So a nice little uh, trolley and that'll be my scenic trolley as well. So that'll hide nicely under the bench when not new. Okay, so there we go guys. Um, so as you can see, not a lot's been done, but at the same time we have made a lot of progress, particularly with the track work. But uh, at least now that the track's in, uh, I get to test it quite a lot. Uh, I get to see if there's any issues. Um, at the moment, I mean July still hasn't been finished obviously, but uh, I'm going to really try and do my best to get the cement plant fully painted and done and get this point riding in. So that's my goal by the end of this month to get that in. Um, obviously I've done some of the items from August, particularly with the, uh, the track work being laid. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes, but I don't think I'm going to start any scenic foundations this month. I think that's going to be right out the window. Um, but we'll see, uh, we'll wait and see, who knows, maybe uh, I'll fly through it and it will make some great progress. Um, so there we go guys, so thanks very much for sticking around, thanks for watching, um, and you know, and again, you know, thanks uh, to my new subscribers for joining as well. Um, don't forget, um, I am happy to reply to any comments, so leave a comment down below in the, you know, if you've got questions or if you've got uh, any feedback as well, I do read them all and I do respond to them all. And um, yeah, we'll uh, keep in touch. Now, one of the other things that's coming up, um, I've noticed I'm starting to approach 400 subscribers. Now, uh, as a bit of a milestone, I will do a, uh, a special video of some sort. Now, uh, I'm not sure whether it's uh, going to be uh, a painting one. I don't think it will be. Um, I do have some items on order at the moment, which are taking a bit more longer to arrive, but I'm hoping they arrive in time. So I might even do a... Uh, 400 subscriber uh, monthly mailbox um, as well. So uh, we'll wait and see, but uh, I will do a special video uh, to highlight that. And um, yeah, so keep in touch. And um, yeah, thanks for following guys. Take care. Talk soon. Bye for now.